Have you got high blood pressure? Because many Australians suffer from it. And according to the Heart Foundation, it's one in three of us that have got high blood pressure. So you're talking close to 7 million people. And the main risk factors, heavy drinking, smoking, not enough exercise, too much stress. And high blood pressure can increase the risk of having a stroke, we know that, heart attack, as well as a ton of other health complications. It can go really bad really quickly. And concerningly, new research shows that blood pressure screenings, well, they haven't returned to pre-pandemic levels. So not enough people are getting their blood pressure checked. Well, I wonder if they're just doing it at home with their own machines. Who knows? Well, Dr. Ross Walker, he is the host of 2GB's Healthy Living, and he's our expert on this. Dr. Ross, thanks for your time. Lovely to talk to you, Chris. Blood pressure can go bad very quickly. Oh, absolutely. And we call it the silent killer because the vast majority of people with high blood pressure don't know they've got it until they have it checked. And the problem is, as you say, one in three adult Australians have blood pressure to some degree. 50% don't even know they have high blood pressure, and the 50% who do, half of those don't have proper control. So we're talking about only 25% of people in the population with high blood pressure have good control of their blood pressure, and good control is getting the level down to what we call 120 over 80. Now, the top reading we call the systolic, that's the force of contraction of the heart. The bottom reading, the diastolic, that's the resting tone in your arteries, and it's really important to get it down to those levels. So why aren't people getting the check then? Oh, I just think it's uh, it's typical humanity. People just don't get around to doing things. There's always some excuse, which is a weak excuse. And I think every time someone goes into a general practitioner with a stub toe, a sore throat, a marriage breakup, it doesn't matter what it is, they should always have their blood pressure checked. I think it should be a fundamental test. It takes 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. And in reality, you mentioned people checking it at home. I'd actually prefer my patients to check their blood pressure at home rather than what what I get in my own office. I always take it when they come into my office. But it's a more realistic uh, check when you know what you're having under your own circumstances at home. It's what you can get down to that's important when you're rested, not not white coat hypertension, sure. when you're all tense about going to a doctor. So is it any? are there any symptoms that are telling you, hey, your blood pressure's too high? Oh, you, you might feel a fullness in your head. You might feel your heart thumping. Uh, you, you could. They're, they're basically something. A, a nosebleed can be a, a very bad symptom. Headaches, of course, any of those things. But the the key is to have it checked. And there are five things you can do that will help keep your blood pressure low. The the biggest one is getting down the belly fat because uh, tragically, 50% of females, 70% of males have some degree of obesity or being overweight. So getting the waist circumference for a male down below 95 centimetres for a female below 80 centimetres, that controls the blood pressure. Number two is three to five hours every week of moderate exertion. Number three, avoid sugar and salt. Number four, grog, keep your grog down. And number five, manage your stresses. There's three natural things you can do. There's a products people who they, they, they advertise on 2GB, so I've got to declare that. The Bergamot products, mm. a BJA 100, that helps control blood pressure to some extent. Kyolic garlic helps, and everyone likes this one, dark chocolate. <laughs> also, sleep, sleep apnea. So all adult males have a degree of sleep apnea, uh, postmenopausal females. So if you're waking up feeling unrefreshed and the neighbours are complaining about your snoring as well, go off and have your sleep apnea checked. But after that, it's medications. And the medications have been around for years. They're extremely safe. And the problem is you mentioned the, the issues with having poorly controlled blood pressure. We're talking all forms of vascular disease, stroke, heart attack, sudden death, aortic aneurysms, damage to your kidneys. Blood pressure is really bad news mm. and it is the most important cholesterol risk factor. I had, a, fr- heart, heart disease risk I had factor. a friend of mine, I was on the phone to him and he said, oh, feeling a bit dizzy. And I said, oh, yep. well, what's your blood pressure? And he said, 180. I said, you've got to go to the hospital. Oh, no, 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 Chris. Wrong, wrong advice. <laughs> if your blood pressure is 180, you just rest and wait and let it come down. No one should go to a hospital with a blood pressure below 200. That's just wasting everyone's time. 
but you should have it checked regularly to see what it comes down to. I've seen a lot of people with blood pressures 160, 180. The next day it's back to 120. So it's what it is most of the time that you worry about, not what it might go up to when you're a bit tense. If you, if you check most people's blood pressure who had a tendency to high blood pressure, say, during an argument with someone, mm. their blood pressure would be up at 180. Or if they at the, at the top of a hill, after they ran up a hill, it might start at 120, go up to 160, 170. That's normal, but it's what it is most of the time when you're resting that's the key what about age well it gets it gets older as you it gets higher as you get older but still if you're 85 90 years old and your blood pressure is 180 200 you don't say oh it's 100 plus your age that's nonsense Mm. you still have to get your blood pressure controlled of course at any age you can cause problems dr ross appreciate your time as always Great to talk to you mate thank you that's dr ross walker from 2gb's healthy living 131873 if you live with high blood pressure Just make sure you keep a a check on it because not enough of us are checking it.